Public Health Engineering Department Minister Jacob Jumovi Praji Dibupar Ausen Sutulongjum Complex and Great Kushe, Dibupade. Dibupar Ausen Sutulongjum Complex Do, 2019 de Shuru Kurigina, it to Sal Kotom Hushi Kushi, or it to Complex Do, Al Manu Ekla Noigina, Alak Community Kangibi, Julabule Dibokushi. Inaugural Program Le, Dr. T. Lima Jamir, Vice President, Northeast Indigenous Forum. Kuzue Shohe, Chairman, Dibupar Village Council, Aro I Imkong Ex Minister B. Kota Krushe. And all of you who have participated in the construction of this house. Well, the Popar village as deliberated by earlier speakers. It's a very literate village. And for me, again, to be in the midst of our, our community, I feel always like a family. You have been there for me right from the inception of my participation in the electoral battle. Many officers from the our community, they have stood by me. Some of them have retired. Some of them are in service. And therefore, I thought it was my moral obligation to contribute in whatever, in whatever way possible for me to extend my cooperation to the our community when they had visited me, led by my brother Chupa Ozukam, who's here with me on the dais. Well, I'm very happy to hear from the earlier speakers that the facility created can be utilized by other tribes. So this is a clarion call to all the tribes residing in Dibupar village to extend the facility created outside their jurisdiction. You have to be large-hearted. And so I salute our, commun our community for taking those decisions. 
this is going to be a challenge for the other tribes for me this has this is one of the best hall i have ever visited or inaugurated so the bar has been set high this is going to be a challenge for your own tribe to create such infrastructure i am also taken a loaf by saying this because next morning you may come to my house with a recommendation to create such a i have not given them a major portion i had contributed a tiny morsel to the community perhaps 1 2% of the uh, uh, the estimate just spread out it had started way back a decade ago this is a continuation so you cannot build such infrastructure overnight but our people are very ambitious including me so this this kind of uh, development takes time but for that you have to be unified within and outside if you want the contribution and if that should be sufficient for completion of the project so i very wholeheartedly and very pleasingly i'm here and honored to invite me to be your guest of honor many leaders who have retired who have served the state and many bureaucrats who have served the state they reside here in the village and i want to supplement to some of the earlier speakers who had said since uh, this being a very uh, developed village it reminds me of few situations in the past when uh, we wanted to uh, shift some of the villages within the dimapur district which deserves to be under the urban jurisdiction i was taken aback and zapped when the leaders of those some of those villages had told me that they want to be under the village uh, nomenclature and i was just calculating and you know trying to see break the uh, argument isolated word by word how could that be possible because people want to progress ahead people migrate from rural to urban for livelihood for economic uh, reasons to live a good life in simple terms so i was the chairman of the dimapur district planning and development board so i was i inquired what is the reason why you don't want to be under the municipality then surprisingly they told us it is because of nrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme i said even urban urban areas have space, specially you know uh, uh, special schemes for your upliftment but the leaders of those villages have told me they still want to stick to village head it is up to them to decide but we had offered we had offered them so uh, i was not in a position to continue arguing with them so i agreed so exactly i also think in the same manner places like purna bazar uh, village and this dipu park village and some few villages within the mahur district should be under municipality if you all agree we can continue discussing about this in the next after the fresh mandate so i am very confident speaking to you in this manner because i know 
I'm going to get the mandate from the Algomani, from the Ubar village. I'm not saying other tribes would not favor me, but uh, uh, they are working, they are working on it. So uh, this will be a collective task and effort for all of us. If we ever have to take a decision to shift to uh, urban jurisdiction, then it has to be uh, unanimously, uh, consent has to be there from all the tribes residing in the village. So this is your homework.